Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a few of the very beginner basics on using the freestyle render option in Blender. And so you'll see here I have some objects that are in 3D. And let me turn freestyle off quickly. And so these objects right now are actually 3D objects. I've made them white on purpose just to get that sort of effect um, when the line's added. And basically when you turn the freestyle on here in the render mode, so just check freestyle. I've set a line thickness to a certain value. And then when you actually view the rendered, you know it does this. And it basically takes all the edges and outlines and puts that freestyle stroke on them. Now, that really is basically it um, for the basics of the freestyle to get it going. Um, you might want to make your objects a little brighter. You'll see here on my materials tab, I'll take one of them here, materials tab that I made my object quite white and to get the extra whiteness I had set the emit value normally by default it's at zero so even with a decent light in the room and the surface set to white this still ends up looking like gray because the ambient lights a little gray etc etc if you've worked with materials you'll sort of know why but what you have here is if you just crank the emission up a bit it makes the object emit a little bit brighter right and so that way you sort of get that effect right the color you actually want this thing to project looks good so that's the basic basics when you render the video uh, for this if you have the camera moving around uh, it won't work very fast here in my video right it'll just be a little slow but you know sort of has a neat look for certain things you might want to animate and here are some of the fine details once you've activated freestyle if you go over from the render tab and you go over here to the render layers tab you actually have at the very bottom of this a freestyle panel another freestyle panel another freestyle panel you can pop those up or open and you can see here there's a lot of options I'm not gonna go into each one you can just fiddle and see what they do It's probably the best way to learn but I will sort of show you these basics here and it's the freestyle line style is a useful little panel just to fiddle around with what you can do is you could say I want the thickness to be in the center of the edge and you can add modifiers now the modifiers you can just sort of fiddle with but let's say I take calligraphy you'll see it's as if the calligraphy pen sort of drew these um, and obviously there's a few settings for the calligraphy pen right max thickness min thickness you know you can fiddle with those make it look good make it look bad etc etc so I'll take that one off there's a bunch of other modifiers there noise okay the noise doesn't look good there but if I take the amplitude down so some of them look bad until you fiddle with the settings and then you can sort of get some sort of neat effects right I will warn you about this though with these modifiers it renders the modifier every single time the frame is rendered so if I were to pan the camera right now like this and you actually made a video of this you're gonna see it's really thick right here and really thin in the center just a few angles later that thickness has moved the thickness didn't stay here and it's not as thin there it actually ends up doing a bit of a vibrating weird thing so when you do work with this and you're gonna render an image do a really short sample you know second two second long low quality video just to make sure that this thing is drawing out correctly every time because as you change the camera angle it sort of recalculates how it's gonna draw that stroke right and really that's about it right activate it on the render tab here set a default thickness and then just go here and you can fiddle with a whole bunch of the settings right to see what they do and that's basically the freestyle stroke option in render I think you can do some neat little things with it thanks for watching